Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, I am just smelting up some steel, and I am crafting up a, another drilling rig. We do have the one in the overworld for oil, and I could use that one, but oil is so important. I didn't feel like breaking that down and moving it, especially when... We may need to be distilling more oil. Um, I did do a whole thing of oil, and uh, I think I have, yeah, I have like a million or a thousand buckets in there, and we got a decent amount of stuff over here. But uh, yeah, we almost have a thousand buckets of ethylene now. Uh, I am going to go ahead and. Did I unhook that? I may have unhooked that. No, I didn't. Um, I may go ahead and... Well, I'm not may. I am going to go throw this on Mars in a salt water... Hmm. I did not know this paused your world. It wasn't looking at a book. <laughs> Never noticed that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go throw it in a salt water vein on Mars. There is chlorobenzene, too. Um, but the chlorobenzene at this point isn't super complicated. It's just chlorine and benzene. <laughs> and we are producing benzene. And we're about to produce chlorine, which is the reason I want salt water from Mars. Now, unfortunately, we do not have ender tanks yet. Uh, they are just little bit too complicated at this point to craft up. I mean, I could. I just don't feel like spending a ton of time on it right this second. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is just go throw it in a super tank. I haven't actually... I don't, could maybe even do a bigger one. Vibrant, stainless, MV. It's usually this... Oh, those are fine. I remember one of them got really annoying, but... Oh, no, it's the generators. That's right. Yeah, the field generators are a pain. Although we could probably do that, but uh, I have super tanks. They're on autocraft. Um, we're just going to use that, and that should get us enough salt water for a while to throw in an electrolyzer. We are going to get hydrogen, which we don't need, uh, as we can see. Sodium hydroxide we will use for apochlorhydrin, I think we use that for. I can't remember. We do use that with something. I saw it. Yeah, apochlorhydrin. So that is useful, but the hydrogen will probably just get voided in that thing up there. But uh, all right, so let me go throw this down, and I think I got everything. Uh, energy hatch, maintenance hatch, input bus, output bus, mining pipes. I need mining pipes. I don't think I have any. Oh, I have some, but that's not enough. Okay, I just wanted to point out one thing uh, before the sun goes down. Um, if you didn't know, the new thing, as we know, the, the prospector does the ores, um, but it also shows the different ore veins, uh, not ore, the fluid veins. So as we can see, salt water, chlorobenzene, and it actually shows it on the map, which is amazing. Um, I went over here, threw it here, because I may actually get another pump. These things are really cheap, so I think I may actually get a, another pump and pump some chlorobenzene. Um, but I didn't realize that you can actually zoom in, and it shows you each chunk how much it actually has in and the yellow squares are the the best chunks um, I didn't realize that I actually got a decent one but the one right next to it is actually 120 unfortunately it does not pull 114 it's actually only pulling 57 liters but uh, that's all right oops there we go uh, yeah so I think I may actually while this is slowly 
going up. I only did the medium energy hatch because I'm running out of the satane stuff that we got from quests. Uh, but if I wanted to speed it up, maybe throw the thing. But the best way to speed it up is actually just upgrade it. Um, that way it does, I think, 4x4 four four chunks as opposed to just the one. So as we can see, you're multiplying it by like 16. Um, but I'm about to start getting tacked here. I may run around a little bit and see if I can find the... See if I can find the... The dungeon. I haven't found it. We've explored quite a bit of territory and I haven't found it yet. But, uh... Yeah, we'll be back. And we're back. Unfortunately, I did not find a Mars dungeon. I have run quite far, and uh, I'm starting to run out of oxygen, so I had to come back. Um, but I am just going to set up my... Um, Uh, I'm going to set up the salt water uh, so we're going to put the salt water in here. I do have two tanks. Um, we got a decent-ish amount, but uh, it's not like a ton to be honest. Um, I probably, well it depends how much we're going to use. Uh, I may end up uh, I may end up upgrading it to sorry I'm just trying to <laughs> do this and talk at the same time uh, so is that what I want yeah I think that'll work I do have a filter but I'm gonna try to do it without a filter the lock on that actually may work um, so basically we're going to, well, why don't I just throw this down, get this, so it was salt water. Eventually this will be ender tanked in to the base. Um, all right, so we need to get that out of there. Pump, I actually need one more pump actually. Uh, this is just the very basic LV. I don't know if we're going to need anything too crazy. Uh, I am going to need... I'm going to do this one. I need a one. Empty cells. 16. One. And that. All right. So that'll do that. I'm going to fluid output to the top. That part's easy. Uh, now I need to do this stuff, so I'm actually going to take that, throw that in there. I, I'm hoping this is going to try to put the stuff in there first, and then the, the thing in there. If not, I do have... Yeah, I do have... Um, Where is the, uh... oh, extract, <laughs> like, where's the thing? There we go. Man, sometimes I get a little uh, messed up with the thing. All right, cool. That's actually what I wanted to go, but I do want this to, I much prefer having the in and the out on the same thing. All right, well, that's easy enough. There we go. We're producing chlorine. Chlorine is going in there. Yay! And uh, I think I have some chlorine somewhere. I think I have a couple cells of it. I'll throw it in there. Um, this is going in here, and then I do need to pump that out. All right, so that is that. And the final kind of basic, I don't know, I call these like basic. Yeah, there we go. So that's going into there, and it's just going to void it. Most of it will go in the actual tank, but there is a little bit that uh, the overflow. 
since I have a big tank, it's I'm putting most of it in there, and then this one only has a little bit, so it's only putting a little. Yeah, as we can see, just a couple millibuckets is going in the trash can. I know there's. It'll be better with conduits, which we will get to hopefully not too late. But uh, yeah, all right. So there we go. Easy enough. Salt water, empty cells, hydrogen, and then back. And then there is the sodium hydroxide, and there is the chlorine. That is much easier than having to worry about salt and uh, electrolyze and all that. And uh, yeah, so there's our chlorine. I also have our nitrogen over here. It is just in a super tank, though, not in one of these. Do we need to use these? No, probably not, but uh, I don't know. I think it's cool. Uh, so that is that. Uh, we do have the... All oh, right. I crafted up conveyor modules because I totally forgot... This uh, conduit, this one conduit we have here is doing all the uh, work for the conveyors. Oh, well, we'll use those, I'm sure, at some point. But, uh, all right, so there is that. Uh, almost automated. We just need to get it coming in from Mars. All right, so next thing I want to do is probably get all my... I don't know, I get a thing set up or polytetrafluoroethylene is probably probably what I want to get automated first because the large chemical reactor uses a lot of it. So I do need to get the, the plastics though. All right, so quite a bit of time has passed and I've been just kind of planning stuff out here. One, finally finished getting all these tanks. I mean, it was super, super easy. It's just stainless steel, basically. Um, but it took time to smelt it and stuff. Uh, but I finally knocked that out. Uh, one, I needed methane and I didn't have a thing for methane yet. So I figured, let's get that and I'll get all the other ones. I probably don't ever going to use ethane. I don't think I ever used it. And butene, I don't think I ever used. Uh, but I figured, let's just get it all going uh, now. Um, I also had this running. Looks like it's we're finally finished it. Uh, because, like I said, I needed the methane. I needed a few different things of it. So, uh, yeah, we're up to... 1200 buckets of ethylene uh, this stuff has been running I had I don't know 300 things of chlorine I did use it to craft up some polytouch fluoroethylene now I haven't gone crazy with this I was trying to decide if I wanted to spend a bunch of time on this I decided not to um, just a couple of chemical reactors in that to make this easier um, because eventually we're gonna have this crafted up in a large chemical reactor Instead of doing the chloroform and hydrofluoric acid uh, with the cells, you can actually do it in an even easier way is you don't have to do the chloromethane or whatever. Chloroform. You just mix it all together at once in a large chemical reactor. But I'm going to have to get these stuff sorted out. Um, I did set up a little distillery over here for the diluted hydrochloric acid uh but yeah that's uh that i'm just gonna wait to get a permanent location before i get this spend too much time on it uh speaking of i have been looking at different cables for the iv age and there is a few options and most of them osmium i don't have like any osmium platinum no thanks <laughs> tungsten steel no thanks tungsten that is terrible um like none of those are really great options at this point in the pack uh, eventually we'll have like millions of osmium which i don't have any at the moment uh, we're almost getting into it but i don't want to be spending 
osmium on osmium cables. Uh, but there is the melodic alloy cable, and uh, that is actually relatively easy to craft up. Basically, you get three melodic alloy from that, and dry, and end steel. And end steel is tungsten, end stone, and dark steel. So, I mean, why would you ever use tungsten cables when you can get, what is that? One tungsten gets three end steel, which gets three. Yeah, so it's like one tungsten gets nine melodic. And uh, this holds more amps anyway than tungsten. So I think that's what we're going to do. And with that, I'm going to have to get the transformer, which... Those were always pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, so it's like, if you need IV, then where did it go? I thought I added it. Uh, if you, uh, well, maybe I already had it up here. I didn't remember. Yeah, just needs the thing, but it actually uses the lower. Like, if you need IV, it actually uses the EV stuff. So um, I will get that. I think I did actually have that up last episode. What is that? Is that? Hold on. Is that? That looks like almost easier way. Just aluminum. Oh, no, just kidding. What is that? That is weird. That's kind of like a weird recipe. <laughs> to get that? You need that, and then that gets you that. All right. I thought that was the lower tier. I was like, oh, does that not need? I thought we didn't have to get the low power. I see things. Uh, anyway, that is that. So I think I'm going to do that. And with that, I'm going to be able to finally start getting some of my permanent locations for this stuff. Like I've said this multiple times. This is going to all be moved eventually. And uh, I think... If I start getting that, we can do that. Is that what I want to do right now? Uh, let me get some of this. I mean, that's going to need... We're going to need quite a bit of that. I mean, one tungsten gets gets nine, so that's 18. I mean, one tungsten gets us 18 cables. I mean, maybe it's actually not that bad. And then I could send it all the way down here. Yeah, maybe I'll actually do that. Let's start branching out, finally, into my permanent uh, permanent locations for all this stuff. Because right now, this is very temporary, and I, I want to get this stuff moved. Okay, uh, slight change of plan again, because as I was going to smelt up that melodic alloy dust... Uh, I, the blast furnace was not turning on and it took me a second to realize I was like looking at it and, uh, like, that's weird. I don't, maybe I need helium. Maybe it looks like there is a thing. I was just like looking at it and, uh, I realized <laughs> the heat capacity, uh, we do not have that heat capacity. We are only at nichrome, so 3,600. Uh, we have to upgrade our thing two more times before we get to 5,400. So it's going to be a while before <laughs> we get that, unfortunately. I was just looking at that. Uh, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, but I realized, why not just do the steel cable? It is super, super cheap. And yeah, we're losing two amps, but I need to do a double cable as all. Well. Actually, I realized I probably didn't even need to do a double cable because I just have it going into a transformer, which can only ever accept one amp. So this is probably never going to take more than two amps, but uh, I figured I already had it bridging that gap or whatever, which is a pain to lay uh, without <laughs> flying, which I really should look into getting that advanced pack 
Advanced Nano Chest Pack. I'll throw that on there. Maybe I'll work on it. I can actually get most of this stuff. And I think we have an electric jetpack somewhere. Uh, anyway. Um, or did I use it? I think I used it for this. But that's not like flight. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got this now. Unfortunately, we do lose quite a bit, as we can see. Uh, 1850 as opposed to 2048. So all the way down here, we have lost a decent amount. Almost 200 EU. So, eh, not the best. But uh, I think... I think that'll be fine. And then I'll start branching off of this. Now, I think the next thing we're going to want to do is get into the platinum stuff. Uh, we're going to need quite a few things here. Also, the way I have this set up. I have to walk over the electric wires. I wish there was a way to avoid taking damage off those train tracks. Let me grab this because I'm definitely going to need this uh, moving forward. So the entire platinum line is pretty difficult. We're not going to do the whole thing yet. Um, so basically we need this Aqua Regia stuff. Then we will chemical react it. Now obviously you can do it a large chemical reactor or here. Uh, this one doesn't really seem, other than speed, doesn't really feel like there needs to be in a large chemical reactor. Um, so I'm going to have to start figuring out what machines I need to make, because I want to make all this stuff. We're going to need a mixer to start with, chemical reactor, and then... That's that bit. Oh, wait. Does it go one, two, three? Then this goes back, and then this is there. So basically, we need that. Then I need ammonium chloride, which is a chemical reactor. Now, this is something will probably do in a large chemical reactor. So LCR. Just because anything with cells is a pain. And then, let's see. We mix the we do that. All right. A little bit confusing. Uh we mix the stuff to get the aqua regia and then chemical react it. It's in there somewhere, I think. There. Is that what we want? If we mix it with some materials, which maybe eventually we will, but I don't have like infinite, <laughs> I don't have infinite tetrahedrite right at the moment. So we'll probably do that one. So another chemical reactor. Again, this one doesn't really need another whole LCR. All right. So that's that. And that gets us. Oops. I'm getting myself confused here because they all look similar. Actually, I want to look at uses. No, we're not going to do that. We need to do that. All right, let me... Uh... <laughs> Let me figure this all out. I'm just trying to figure out the end of it here. Um, I have done this before. <clears throat> so it's not... Right, no, that is Platinum Concentrate. 
All right, we looked at that. All right, now this one we do need a large chemical reactor because there's no other way to do this. Ammonium chloride, platinum concentrate. All right, so basically we're trying to get platinum concentrate, ammonium chloride, we mix them together, and we get uh, palladium-enriched ammonia, um, which will get us palladium, as we can see, and then platinum salt dust, which we can turn back into... That's a loop. And then you use this stuff again. It's kind of like a loop. And then you also get this reciprocated stuff. And then that, we mix with calcium to get that, which we actually don't need that. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna need two LCRs and a chemical reactor. So three chemical reactors, a mixer, and two LCRs. <laughs> As we can see, this is why I wanted to get a decent amount of tetrafluoroethylene uh, for all the LCRs. All right, let me get all this crafted up, and we will start getting the platinum line going. Okay, I haven't crafted up every little thing that we're going to need here yet, but I wanted to get at least some of this going here and i will organize it better when i can uh when we can kind of see everything how it works and what needs to go where uh, i think that's what we'll do so i think we'll just for now that connect There we go. Um, all right, so this has a bunch of inputs as well. Do that, that, that in the middle. This on the back. Now there is, do this. Because we're going to have to save all this fluids. So there is two item outputs, three item or fluid outputs, and then two input hatches. So definitely, definitely the most complicated build we have done yet, I think. There we go. All right, cool. Um, still haven't filled up my toolbox with tools yet, <laughs> but tape is just so easy. All right, so I have diluted sulfuric acid, nitric acid. We've already made those before. Let's go ahead and get those done. So that, we'll just do this too. Like I said, uh, We'll figure out optimal ways to do it eventually, but that is pretty dang quick. So there we go. Step one, yay. Uh, next part, we need platinum metallic dust. We have some in the A system and this goes in the chemical reactor. Now, I think I forgot to bring it actually. Also, while we're going over there, we need to make this ammonium chloride, which is ammonia and hydrochloric acid, which is actually really easy to craft up. Uh, we have the hydrochloric acid. And I forgot how much I needed. 10 ammonia. Now ammonia is hydrogen and nitrogen, which is why I wanted to get all these uh, automated. Unfortunately, I don't think these work on this. Well, they do. Just kidding. Um, ammonia is hydrogen and nitrogen, and I don't remember the ratio. One and three. And there's the hydrochloric acid. 
And uh, I just did the ammonia in this one while I was over here. So that is hydrochloric acid, ammonia. And then we have our aqua regio, I think. And platinum metallic dust, which we have been getting from other stuff as well. But let's just do the amount in the quest. All right, I think we got that. Now, eventually this is going to be fully automated. We won't have to keep running back and forth. But for now, let's enjoy our train. I can't wait to... Get more stuff so it has a branching and all sorts of stuff with the switches but for now it's very basic uh, all right so i really can do either to be honest uh ammonium chloride in this is just a i mean that is super fast a one i already forgot what it was hydrochloric acid ammonia Man, being able to do the circuits in there without having to worry about changing them manually is amazing. All right, so we got that one. It gives us more of that. I don't know if we're going to need it, but uh, yeah. And then the next one, I think we'll just use the one. And that will give us the platinum concentrate and the tiny platinum residue. So it needs, yeah, 20 and 20. Now I haven't looked at this recipe, but it is relatively quick. All right, and then the next part is this. So we need the 20 platinum concentrate New ammonium chloride cell. I guess we don't need much of that, do we? Yeah, this will do 10 buckets. All right, so yeah, we only need the two. Good to know. All right, so that will go input hatch. Ammonium chloride in there. Now, figuring out how we're going to do all these different fluids. That is another thing entirely. The one nice thing about the single block machines is they automatically turn off when they're full. So you don't have to worry about this voiding. Like if I just had this running permanently going into here, it would just keep voiding it. Actually, it would be on the other side. It would keep voiding it if I had nowhere to go. But uh, all right. There's that. Tiny platinum residue. Now, if you look at that tooltip, it says iridium, osmium, rhodium, and ruthenium. So that is how we're going to go about getting these. And then this adds a whole nother branch kind of onto the platinum line. We're just doing the very basic one right now. So there is that. Oh, and it gives us some more concentrate, which is cool. And... uh yeah, so basically we just throw this in the thing. Just don't want to avoid anything. Let me see how much. I think we are. Yeah, I'm good with the 10. Or the 20. It won't void anything. Uh, I did forget to throw a circuit in there. No! <laughs> Alright, back to the base really quick. I forgot to grab a circuit while I was over there. Knew I was missing something. Circuit of one, right? Yep. Yeah, I did want to bring the... I didn't want to bring like the train in down here because we take damage from the thing. I could switch it to like a steam engine. That way the tracks don't electrocute you. But I don't know. Electric's just easier. Alright. So 
one. You can actually throw it in there, I believe. Yep, there we go. And you don't have to worry about putting like a dedicated input bus for the things. But uh, all right, there we go. Those are actually both going in there. So you actually only need the one. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you can't lock that. Uh, but this we're going to have to be careful with for sure. Either get bigger hatches or do something with it into a chest or something. Um, because this can easily void if it... Uh, Keeps running, but uh, all right, there we go. Yep, and then we just need one, two is ten. Oh, the palladium can't see anything in it. All right, palladium, nitrogen dioxide, and diluted now. You noticed we can actually put the diluted back in here and mix it with the platinum residue again to get the or mix it with nitric acid to get our aqua regia so you do get the diluted sulfuric acid back which is nice but uh all right so there we go might as well complete that and last bit, reciprocated platinum dust and calcium will get us the platinum dust and calcium chloride. Um, I'm going to, we'll have a dedicated blast furnace for this. Uh, obviously right now I did not craft up a, another blast furnace yet. We should have a couple calcium somewhere. Yeah. And there is that. Unfortunately, we do get. We'll have to throw this into a. Uh, packager. We'll have to send these dusts into a packager. Uh, chemical reactor right here. So that. And that. There we go. There is our platinum dust. And our calcium chloride. And then platinum frying pan. All right, I'm not going to take that. There is that. And then uh, we can smelt our platinum dust. Can we not smelt this into. Wait a second. Oh, we can just melt it in a, <laughs> we could just put this in a, <clears throat> a regular old furnace. All right, so there we go. There is our platinum ingots. That is the start of the platinum line. Uh, obviously, um, we're going to start adding <clears throat> other things. Mainly, we're going to start sifting this, then we'll feed this back into the line. And then... Um, we will add on to the parts. I think it's probably in here somewhere, maybe. Yeah. So this is all the extra stuff added on to the platinum line. I don't know where it actually starts, but uh, yeah, we will get into this is the more complicated stuff. This was actually pretty easy. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.